Hi, so I'm here to um, explain why we wrote the book Generational Encounters with Higher Education, focusing on the academic student relationship and the university experience. This was a book conceived, researched and published just before the pandemic hit in March 2020, but a book that we think will have increasing um, importance and relevance as we deal with the upha upheavals um, to higher education in the uh, post-pandemic world. We're aware, as anyone engaging with higher education is, that universities have undergone significant and wide-reaching transformations over the past 60 years, both in the experience of academics working in uh, university institutions and the expectations and experiences of students who, who go to them. These changes have been widely uh, discussed and um, critically theorised, but there are relatively few empirical studies showing what it's like to work in uh, universities um, in the early 21st century and how academics and students alike reflect on the changes to that experience. So um, to this end, we have combined a generational lens uh, looking at the changing experience of academics over time, um, academics uh, of all ages contributed their interviews to the book, and um, also the, uh, the experiences of you know, younger students starting now and reflecting on their own kind of expectations and experiences of university, not least those gleaned from family members who have been before, and their own kind of interpretation of what might have changed and what they hope to um, gain from the university um, experience. We combine this with a critical realist approach to looking at how policy changes and cultural changes impact on the experience of higher education. To conduct this study, we uh, collected a lot of rich data. Uh, we looked at uh, the major policy documents. Uh, we looked at uh, the mass observation directives. Uh, we did uh, nine focus groups and we also conducted 25 semi-structured interviews. Um, we basically looked at the cultural script of the student in the policy documents. For the mass observation accounts, uh, we looked at how the general public frame uh, their experiences of the university, both in policy terms and in terms of their own experiences. Okay, so we're going to draw out just three of the main findings from the book. The first thing is that the academic and student relationship is absolutely central to university experience. It's prioritised by students and it's valued by academics. And yet we find it has an increasingly absent presence in the policy documents with instead emphasis on value for money and metrics such as progression and student satisfaction and retention, for example. Our second key finding was that the students did not actually talk about the university in consumerist terms. They were much more uh, you know, interested in the academic experience. But having said this, we did find that they were increasingly talking about the difficulties of study and particularly their mental fragility as they were worried about their debt and the, whether they get good graduate uh, honours and indeed of course whether they would be able to compete in the graduate market. For the academics in our study, they were increasingly worried that their job was intense and focused on administration and bureaucracy and supporting students rather than necessarily being involved in the teaching. And they were talked about being alienated in their role as an educator. And so overall, what we argue is that the academic and student relationship is absolutely central to the student and university experience and should be reclaimed.